finally it looks like we're going to be having some really good luck this season the rains have come and the rains seem to be good you see in the background we actually do have our maize and it has grown now it's been maybe five days right now and this is the longest we've gone without rain since we planted this maize that simply means that we're going to certainly have a better harvest the last time i was standing in this position with the previous planting of maize my god it was terrible it was terrible really terrible but right now things are getting better this is really a huge number of acres over here and the maize is growing up and if the maize keeps growing up like this and we have a really good harvest you know it's almost at flowering point and there's still rain then that means that hey farmers are going to be celebrating you see farmers have been paying really really high prices for maize currently it's incredible that the prices of feed could go this high really really high three four times what we had been paying in previous years and so maintaining such a huge farm for us you know it's over 60,000 bags right here on the farm it has been a tug of war because you're paying twice three times how much you had planned to pay now of course if you don't think about it deeply it doesn't seem like too much but imagine you had planned to pay let's say ten thousand dollars for feeds for your chickens and then just suddenly like that you need to pay forty thousand. Oh my god where are you going to get that extra money so that's what we've been going through it of course strains you and makes you feel like hey what do i do right now and i do understand that a lot of farmers outside there are actually going through the same exact pain but hey you have to become tough and go through it you know just like covid came and we've gone through it lots of hardships have come in our lives and we've gone through them this is one of those and you know you just have to accept and go through it this is one of those areas where we used to graze cattle but currently we are grazing nothing here because we got rid of all our cattle and have an incredible structure that we have here on the farm that i'm going to show you guys right there you can see our hatchery it's a beautiful huge structure as you can see so it runs all the way from there up to the other side that's over 60 meters i think it's 60 meters in length and as you can see it has been built with brick all right right here you can see yeah so this is this entire length and you can see that the top floor is actually still being built so the top floor is not occupied the bottom floor on that half that was completed is actually occupied now unfortunately because i'm not appropriately dressed as you might see you know not appropriately dressed at all i mean gumboots you know just trousers and a shirt I can't go inside there, I can't go inside the hatchery. But the machines are running at full blast. I think I recorded a few clips, I'll put them in the video, yeah? The machines are running at full blast right now. For me to go in there, it's getting dark, as you might see. It's past 6 p.m., so it's starting to get dark. For me to be able to go in there, I would have to take a bath, change my clothes and go in there. And by the time I get there, it will really be dark and I won't be able to do anything. But the machines are running at full blast. You no, know, we are able to set more than 300,000 eggs over there. It's really, you know, an industrial size hatchery, as you might see. And we are still going to be expanding it, by the way. As you can see over here, it has the potential to be expanded all the way to this point, yeah? So it's going to be really, really big, 60 by 60 meters. We've only built 60 meters of the length. The width, it's maybe a bit less than that. And as you might see, they are roofing the top, yeah? So we've finished the bottom section, it's underused, but it's completely sealed off, so there's no access to the top. So there are guys working at the top, roofing, and with time, because we're going to have to bring in more birds and um, expand the hatchery and expand the farm, this space won't be enough so we've decided to rough it as you might see these guys working over there and then we're going to be using the upper section also uh, later on maybe in a few months time so the place is well aerated as you might see it has vents 
I would say it's a really, really lovely hatchery. So yes, when you do order your birds from Farm Up, you can actually order them with loads of confidence that you're going to be getting really nice birds. The place is very isolated from the rest of the farm, you know. It's maybe 500 meters away from the closest chicken house. I can't see anything to this side. I can't see anything to this side, you know. It's really isolated and that ensures that the place is safe, the hatchery is safe, you have minimal risk for disease and that everyone can get the highest quality birds from the hatchery. So with the way things are going right now, I'm almost certain that by the turn of the year, the prices of feeds would really have dropped and those who are already in the business are going to be laughing. They're going to be laughing because as I've said, a lot of farmers have been crippled during this period because they can't buy feed they can't stock and that means that there is very little supply of eggs there is very little supply of broilers because very few people can handle but i do feel like this is the appropriate time you know to start stocking september yeah october november december january maybe end of january feb if you're getting in layers they're going to have started laying and what that means that Hey, that's when the prices of maize are going to really drop because the people who are who have planted maize like us who have planted maize here in December we should be harvesting, you know. Um, yeah, end of November, December we should be harvesting our maize and in January everyone is going to be harvesting. We've been lucky enough that the rains have looked really, really good so far. So all over the country and so if we get good harvests all over the country then you're going to be really happy and excited because the prices are going to drop business is going to pick up again for everyone and then the farmers like me and you are going to be reaping our efforts it's not nice to put in lots of work and not have any results isn't it so really the key to persevering in this business is endurance you've got to have thick skin You've got to have thick skin and it, that's the key really in every business. It's about endurance and perseverance. While other people always give up easily, you've got to get thick skin and decide to stay in it for the long term and you know, just decide to not just give up easily like that. You've got to keep thick skin and those who have had thick skin are certainly going to be benefiting. So if you're a farmer outside there and you know you've been going through some really really tough times, hey, just remain tough. You've got to get tough. They say when the going gets tough, the tough get going, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to remain really tough. Don't give up. Do the best that you can. I believe one of my previous videos was about, you know, how to benefit when everyone else is falling. Usually what happens is that when everyone else is falling, that's the time for the people who plan properly, for the people with thick skin, for the people who endure, and for the people who do have some spare money to get up. But like I said, Spare money is not always the solution, yeah? If you have the endurance, if you have the brains to make sure that you don't make mistakes and you plan properly, you can actually make it big. So it's time for you to make it big. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, that way you never miss out on an upload. Lots of love. Bye! -bye.